Good evening. Welcome. You deserve the glory and the honor. Lord, we lift our hands in worship as we lift your holy name. You deserve the glory and the honor. Lord, we lift our hands in worship as we lift your holy name for you are great you do miracles so great there is no one else like you there is no one else like you you are great you do miracles so great there is no one else like you for 22 years now, and I didn't even write it. I just get credit for it all over the world. But he has done a great thing. He has performed a midnight miracle. Five weeks ago, this was not even going to happen because of the crazy year that we are all tolerating. But at the last possible moment, God opened up this venue they had these dates available, and here we all are tonight. Give the Lord praise. 
It's so good to see all of you here. I know more will be coming in, but uh, I'm thrilled for the opportunity to sing over America. Please take your seats and let me just give you a couple of uh, thoughts here about this next day and a half. Tonight, this is all just about soaking in the presence of God. And uh, that's what we're focusing on. Tomorrow morning, I'm just gonna come and we're gonna have a couple of hours of intercessory worship. We'll have an open mic so that you can come and lead prayer over the, the area that you come from. We'll have a time of repentance as we worship together. Just a cleansing time on behalf of yourself and on behalf of our nation. Not that we need that right now. So, and then tomorrow evening, Paul Wilbur will be here, and Brandon Roberson will be here, and of course, uh, Don Moen and I also, and we're gonna have a great final thing, a final session together. It's just gonna be a great time. I am expecting incredible visitation of the Holy Spirit to change your life forever. Would that be okay? Now here's what Sing Over America is not. It is not a political convention. We are not lifting any presidential candidate over any other presidential candidate. We are lifting the candidate of Jesus Christ, who is King of all kings and Lord of all lords, and of his reign there shall be no end. And I'm ready for that to take place any time. So we are dealing in this, this is not a conference. We're not having speakers come out and, and preach at you. This is not a seminar. This is a worship gathering, all right? We are here to worship. No different than when Jehoshaphat had this brilliant idea as they had basically no chance to defeat the enemy, they said, well, just send the worshipers and the musicians out in front of the army and begin to praise the name of the living God. And that was the secret weapon. That's when the Lord turned the enemy on themselves and they destroyed themselves. You know, you start worshiping the king of glory and the lion of the tribe of Judah, things happen. And that's what we're here to do. We are dealing not with flesh and blood in America. We are dealing with principalities and powers, rulers and dark places. So I fully believe that what happens here in the next 24 hours, 26, 27 hours, is going to radically change regions that have had familiar spirits of demonic influence for decades and decades and decades. And we're gonna see those, those powers, they cannot stand the name of Jesus. So as we lift up that powerful name that is greater than any other name, we're gonna see a change in the heavenlies. And we're gonna see a change in the atmosphere of our nation in the most important time ever. God has chosen you to be alive at the most important time in the history of the world. Embrace that. All right? All right, I want to introduce an old friend of mine who has become this, in the last few weeks, the event coordinator for Sing Over America. And had he not been here, I don't know that I would have made it. He has picked up the slack. I was taking a power walk. I walk in the morning time, way before sunrise. And I was walking, and I said, Lord, I have no idea how I'm going to pull this off. I'm an artist, I'm supposed to be up here playing the piano, not answering all kinds of questions and, and putting up banners and, and everything that goes with such a detailed event like this. My wife Liz was having the same prayer at home when I was praying on the, on the street. I said, I need somebody to come along. That same day, my friend Darren Morehouse called me and said, I'm in a transition time, and I said, you are? Would you like to transition to Frisco, Texas? And Plano, Texas for a few days and help me because I need somebody and I think you're it. He said, it sounds like something that I could really wrap my head, my head around. So 
he came and here we are. So Darren, without further ado, come on out. Would you just thank God for his gifting? I'm sure thanking God for it. Well, one thing I know for sure, that where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. And so we need less problems, and like Psalm 14 says, we need more presence where the Spirit of the Lord is. So, so listen, that's, that, that is our prayer tonight. And so the one thing that I would ask you tonight is to just let the things of this world fade into the background. And we come into this place to surrender to a God that loves us. And I am so excited about what God is going to do corporately, but also what God is going to do in our hearts tonight as we worship him and over the next two days. Are you ready for that? Amen. Amen. Well, listen, I've got a couple housekeeping things uh, to take care of real quick. We've got some water stations over here to the side. If you need a drink, please make your way over there. Uh, also, uh, so this thing that I'm holding in my hand is the biggest blessing and curse in my life. And so what I would ask you to do is just to take a moment now and go ahead and make sure that that is silenced, that that doesn't become a distraction. And listen, if Jesus calls, he'll leave a voicemail. So, all right. So uh, you, will, you won't miss anything, I promise you. And so the next thing uh, also... Your wristbands that you received on the way in here, that is your ticket to re-entry for all the different things that are going on. So make sure that you hold on to that and that you have that available as you come back in. And uh, one of the things that we're so blessed by are all of the partners to make this happen. And so I'm going to ask uh, Jesse from KCBI. They've been such a huge blessing in helping us get the word out. Would you give them a hand and thank them? Thank you, sir. Hello, friends. All right, I know that he said pay attention to this and put it down, but we're going to do something with it in just a minute. I'm Jesse from 90.9 KCBI radio station. We are your favorite worship station here in Dallas, Fort Worth. We are more than a worship station. We're also a teaching station as we do have pastors local and from afar that teach during certain hours of our programming. So if you pull out your phone and you download the free KCBI app, you can take us wherever you go. In there, there is a place for you to text us. I want you to text me your name and email address. I'm going to draw a couple of winners from that text message when I get back to the studio tomorrow night and send you something freebie, okay? Download the free KCBI app on your phone and then send me a text message with your name and email address. Now something very quickly. I've heard some of you are not from Texas, that you came from out of state to get here just for this event. If that's you, let me hear you. That sounds about like half of you guys. <laughs> that is fantastic. Well, welcome to Texas, and we hope that you enjoy this. Thank you, guys. All right, I'll tell you what. Would you, as an act of faith, we've got, got all of our worship leaders in the back here. Would you just stretch your hands out there? We want to pray for them tonight. Listen, we want God to show up in a major way. And when his presence, listen, something always gives. Whenever you read scripture, something always happens when the presence of God shows up. And so listen, let me tell you this with all assurance tonight. God is in the business of exceeding expectations. And so as we come into this place tonight, we are expectant. We say, Lord Jesus, we surrender everything that we are. We lay aside the weights of this world. And Father, we pray right now in your mighty name for these men that are gonna, and, and women that are going to lead us in worship tonight. Father, I pray that their hearts would be focused on you. Lord, I pray that they would be bold in the power of your spirit. And Lord, we ask right now that every word that they speak and every way that they lead tonight would be anointed by your spirit. Lord, that you would cause darkness to flee. We, we cause the chains to be broken. And Lord, we declare freedom in this place tonight in the power of your spirit. And Lord, we engage with you. We are 
expectant, and we say, have your way tonight. In Jesus' name, and everybody said, amen. amen. Well, so where is everybody from? Hold up, wait, hold up. Let's just take a couple minutes and have a little family time here. I want you to, one at a time, shout out the name of the state you're from, and if, you've, if you're from that state, just once. So when we hear Texas, we don't need to hear 12 other Texas, okay? You get how the game is played? All right, so let's do this. Texas, Mississippi, Minnesota, South Africa. Maryland, Kentucky, New Mexico, Louisiana, Michigan, Colorado, Illinois, Oklahoma, Tennessee, Virginia, Pennsylvania, Florida, Arkansas, Hawaii, Philadelphia is not a state. <laughs> we heard Pennsylvania, that qualifies. Missouri. Georgia and Washington, oh my goodness. New York. California. That's 20 states I've counted. This is a national worship gathering. Hallelujah! stand please God bless America land that I love stand beside her and guide her through the night with the light from From the mountains to the prairies to the oceans wide with home, God bless America, my home sweet.
Hallelujah. That is the prayer of our hearts, Lord, that you would bless this nation with grace and mercy one more time. And your kingdom would come and your will would be done in this land, the land of the free and the home of the brave. We pray that in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. You feel him already here? Praise the Lord. Please be seated again. Let me go over the rules for seating and standing. There are no rules. When you want to stand up, even if nobody else is, just stand. If you've been standing so long, you're thinking more about your feet hurting than Jesus, sit down. But here's the deal, and I'm very serious about this. This is not a concert where different guys parade across the stage. This is the largest worship team in Texas right here, all right? From the front row to the back, you have been called to sing over America. You have been called to this event. You have a responsibility to ascribe to the Lord the glory that is due his name. So when we leave here tomorrow night, I want everything that was supposed to have happened during these three sessions to have been completed. But that can't happen if you watch. You must participate. Let him flow through you. Let him sing through you. Let him intercede through you as you worship. Let burdens come upon you and take those things and just stay with the Lord in those until they pass because I believe miracles can happen while we worship together. Praise God. Well, I tell you what, about, um, oh boy, about uh, 87, 97, about 33 years ago, I met a young man when I was a young man, and I just, Upon the first time meeting him, I just decided he's going to be my friend forever. He's kind of a big brother in worship leading. And um, I, I called him when we decided to have this, and I said, would you come out because you carry something with you that's touched tens of millions of people around the world for a long, long time and people trust you in worship. People know your name and they trust you because you have, you have a track record. You have been doing the work for so many years. So he said, yes, I'd come. And I said, I said, you know, Don, I can't pay you what you're worth, but the fellowship, the fellowship is gonna be great. He didn't laugh too much at that, I don't know. But anyway, um, I just want Don Moen to come on out and for you to give a big United States and Texas welcome. Don, welcome. Welcome to Plano. We're glad you're here. Thank you, Terry. And it is an honor to be a part of this event tonight. I, I think it's one of the most important things that we can do. Um, I was, uh, the last concert that I did was in um, Orange County, California, um, I think uh, Mission Viejo, that was uh, March, Lenny LeBlanc and I were out there, was March the 7th, and, um, and that was, in fact, some people drove down from San Francisco to be at that event, and they said, we're going to be with you and Terry <laughs> McCallum and in uh in uh, Plano or in Dallas, whatever, they had already booked their tickets to fly. Uh, some, well, I don't know when we originally had this, April, was it? Or was it May? Yeah. And they had already booked their hotels and booked their flights. And uh, you all know uh, the last few months didn't go the way we had planned them to go. Um, but uh, I am uh, honored to be a part of this event. And I, and I, I, I'm, I told Terry, I'm just so happy you're doing this, we're starting something, we're planting a seed. And uh, uh, 
we're, we're singing over America today, tonight, but there are people watching all over the world who desire the same thing for their nation. They're going through all kinds of horrible things, but uh, God is bigger than all that. Amen. <laughs> He referred to uh, Second Chronicles when the singers and the musicians went in front of the army and they sang, For the Lord is good and his mercy endures forever. Uh, that's when the Lord sent ambushments. And uh, that's what we're going to do tonight. As we sing, uh, we're going to ask the Lord to defeat the enemy in Jesus' name. Where would I be if you had not been by my side? How could I rise to meet the morning of the day? Your tender mercies always calling from behind. At times I could not see you even though you were close by. And Lord, you are good, you are good, and your mercy forever endures. Oh Lord, you are good, yes you are, you are good, and your mercy forever endures. If you had not been by my side How could I rise to meet The morning of each day Your tender mercies Always calling from behind At times I could not see you Even though you were close by And Lord, you are good you are good, and your mercy forever endures. Oh, Lord, you are good, yes. You are good, and your mercy forever endures. Help me to see your loving kindness. Help me to see you as you are. Help me to see your loving kindness. Help me to see you as you are. As you really, really are. Where would I be if you had not been by my side? How could I rise to meet the morning of the day? Your tender mercies always calling from behind. At times I could not see you even though you were close by. You know, um, I think it's important in these days you, you got to get your head out of the news every day, folks. I don't know about you, but that's why. Where would I be if you had not been by my side? You know, help me to see your loving kindness. And you know what? If you're cluttering your mind and your eyes with all the stuff, I, I, I'm telling you, some days I just, I just, I don't dare turn on my phone and the news, and I, I can't do it. Because uh, depending on what you read, you get overwhelmed and think, oh, my gosh. Um, I think it's Psalm 73, uh, verse 10, 12, I don't know, something like that. Uh, the psalmist said, I was, I was bothered by all the stuff that was going on. And, and then one day I went into the courts of the Lord and his perspective changed. That's what this night is about. Coming into God's presence and our perspective changing. Get your eyes. We need to get our eyes on Him. 
and sing about his goodness. That's what this is. And the Bible says God will inhabit our praises. And my prayer tonight, as I send out to our prayer team, as we worship and build a throne with our praise tonight, and Terry started us off so beautifully, that God would come and inhabit our praises and send ambushments against the enemy in Jesus' name. <laughs> and Lord, you are good. You are good. And your mercy forever endures. Oh Lord, you are good. Yes, you are. You are good. And your mercy forever endures. good and your mercy forever endures yes lord you are good you are you are good and your mercy forever endures and your mercy forever endures gather in this place today Holy Spirit come and have your way Sing it. have your way do whatever you want to do here tonight Lord. as we lay aside our own desire sweep across our hearts holy fire and have your this is your house, and it's your home. We welcome you, Lord, we welcome you. This is your house, and it's your home. We welcome you today. Yes, we do. As we offer up our hearts and lives, let them be a living sacrifice. Have your way. Be glorified. Be glorified in everything we do. Yes, Lord. Be glorified in everything we say and have. This is your house, and it's your home. We welcome you, Lord, we welcome you. This is your house, and it's your home. We welcome you today. Thank 
welcome you today. Yes, we do. We welcome you today. Oh, yes. Lord, we do welcome you here tonight. Come and do all that you want to do among your people here tonight, Lord. Holy Spirit, come. You are welcome here. Do what you want to do. You know, there's, we can't control what happened here at this convention center last night. Can't control what happens uh, next week. But tonight, we can control what's happening. <laughs> This is the Lord's house tonight. Amen. So, Holy Spirit, you're welcome here. Come and do all that you want to do. And now, let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor say, I am rich. Because of what the Lord has done. For us and now let the weak say it I am strong oh yes let the poor say I am rich because of what the Lord has done for us give thanks Yes, we do. We give thanks. We give Bible says it's a good thing to give thanks to the Lord. Amen. I come before you today. There's just one thing that I want to say. Say it. Thank you. All you've given to me For all the blessings that I cannot see Thank you, Lord Thank you, Lord With a grateful heart With a song of praise With an outstretched arm I will bless your name and thank you, Lord. I just want to thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I just want to thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All you've done in my life You took my darkness and gave me your light Thank you, Lord Thank you, Lord You took my sin and my shame yes, you, you took my sickness and healed all my pain thank you Lord thank you Lord with a grateful heart with a grateful heart with a song of praise with an outstretched arm I will bless your name and thank you Lord I 
just want to thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I just want to thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we do thank you tonight for bringing us together. We thank you for all you've done. And by faith tonight, we say thank you for what you're about to do in our lives in our nation, in our cities, in our churches, in our homes. Thank you, Jesus. You, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, we thank you, Lord. Yes, we do. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. With a grateful heart. With a grateful heart. With a song of praise. With an outstretched arm. I will bless your name. Thank you, Lord. Yes, I just want to. Dwelling daily in your presence I don't want to worship from afar Draw me near to where you are And I just want to be where you are In your dwelling place forever Take me to the place where you are Cause I just want to be with you I want to be where you are Dwelling in your presence Feasting at your table And surrounded by your glory in your presence that's where we always want to be i just want to be i just want to be with you and i just want to be where you are dwelling daily your presence I don't want to worship from afar draw me near to where you are and oh my God you are my strength and my song and when I'm in your presence Though I'm weak, you're always strong, yes, you. And I just want to be where you are. In your dwelling place forever. Take me to the place where you are. Because I just want to be. I just want to be 
with you. Make it your prayer. I just want to be. I just want to be with you. That's our prayer, Lord. We want to be where you are. Feasting from your table tonight. Surrounded by your glory. Come, Lord. And I have made you too small in my eyes, O oh Lord. Forgive me. And I have believed in a lie that you were unable to help me but now oh lord i see my wrong heal my heart and show yourself strong and in my eyes and with my song oh lord be Oh, Lord, be magnified. And I have leaned on the wisdom of men. Does it sound familiar? Oh, Lord, forgive me. And I have responded to them. Instead of your light and your mercy. But now, oh Lord, I see my wrong. Heal my heart and show yourself strong. And in my eyes and with my song, oh Lord, be mad. Oh, Lord, be magnified. Sing it. Be magnified. Oh, Lord, you are highly exalted. And there is nothing you can't do. That's right. Lord, my eyes are on you. Be magnified. Oh, Lord, be magnified. Lift it up. Be magnified. Oh, Lord, you are highly exalted. nothing you can't do. That's right. Oh Lord, my eyes are on you. Be magnified. Oh Lord, be magnified. Be magnified. Oh God. Yes, Jesus. Come, Lord. Forgive us for making you too small. We've leaned on the wisdom of men. Come, Lord. Be magnified over every situation tonight. Be magnified. Be glorified. over our nation. Be magnified over this virus. Come and heal your people, I pray. 
around the world as people are watching tonight. Touch your people, Lord. And how great is our God. Sing with me how great is our God. And all will see how great, how great is our God. Yes, He is. How great, oh, how great is our God. Oh, sing with me how great is our God. And all will see how great, how great. Of all names, he's the name above. Yes, he's worthy, worthy of my praise. My heart will sing how great is our God. Name above all names, he's the name above. Yes, he's worthy, worthy of my praise. My heart will sing how great is our God. How great, oh, how great is our God. Sing with me, how great is our God and all will see how great how great is our God how great how great is our God sing with me how great is our God and all will see how how great is our God. Yes, He is. Yes, He is. He's great. Yes, you are, Lord. Hallelujah. You're a great God. And here we are, lifting our hands to you. Here we are, giving you thanks for all you do. And as we praise and worship your hope, prayer for always being there for love that hears us when we call for arms that lift us when we fall oh, you have always been right beside us Leading us all along the way And we've made it through Yes, we have Because of you And here we are Lifting our hands to you Thank you, Lord here we are, giving you thanks 
for all you do. And as we praise and worship your holy name, you are here. You are here, dwelling within our praise. Yes, you are. You are here, dwelling within our praise. Yes, you are. Come, Lord. Come, Lord Jesus. Yes, you are here, Lord. Touch your people. I am the God that healeth thee. I am the Lord, your healer. And I sent my word, and I healed your disease. I am the Lord, your healer. This is his word, his promise. I am the God that healeth thee. I am the Lord, your healer. And I sent my word, and I healed your disease. I am the Lord, your healer. And I sent my word, and I healed your disease. I am the Lord, your healer. Yes, you are. Touch your people now. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Jesus, your name is more powerful than cancer, heart disease, kidney disease, any disease that we can name. Your name and your word is more powerful than coronavirus. You're bigger, Lord. So come, I ask you to touch your people around the world tonight. Be healed in Jesus' name. For your glory, Lord, I offer my days to you, lifting my praise to you as a pleasing sacrifice. Lord, I offer you my life. Sing it, Lord, I offer. Lord, I offer my life to you, everything I've been through. Use it, Lord. Use it for your glory. And Lord, I offer my days to you, lifting my praise to you as a pleasing sound. Lord, I offer you my life. Things in the past, things yet unseen, wishes and dreams that are yet to come true. All of my hopes and all of my plans my heart and my hands are lifted to you. Lord, I offer my life to you. Everything I've 
been through. Oh, use it, Lord. Use it for your glory. Lord, I offer my days to you, lifting my praise to you as a pleasing sacrifice. Lord, I offer you my life. Lord, I offer you my life, everything. Romans 8, 28 says, all things work together for our good. To those that love him and are called according to his purpose. God is able to take everything you've been through, my friend, in the last uh, six crazy months and use it to work out for our good and for His glory. Say amen. Yes, He will. So, Lord, we ask you to do that. These crazy stuff we've been through the months use it lord for our good and for your glory in jesus name i sang a couple weeks ago at an event out on uh, in washington dc called the return did anybody see that i'm telling you it was powerful it was, a, it was a powerful event. I was uh, uh, just amazed. I was so blessed. First of all, it's the first thing I've done since March. But um, to see people on their knees crying out to the Lord, repenting, I, I don't know, it, it overwhelmed me to see it and to be a part of it. And I just have to believe that when something like that happens, when something like this happens, it, God takes notice of it. Um, and uh, I was on the uh, committee to help put the music and all that together, and and um, and I I got up from the uh, a phone call one day. They were talking about marketing ideas and this, and it was back a few months ago, and. And I saw a, a spot that they were going to run, and it, and it said, um, return to me, and I will return to you. And I'd been praying about a song. And uh, I went down, I went, got up from that call, and I sat down on the piano. I goes, uh, uh, return to me, and I will return to you. It's uh, Jeremiah uh, 7, said. You will be my people, and I will be your God. Return to me, and I will return to you. I'll give you a heart to know me, and I will be your God. And uh, Second Chronicles 7.14 says, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray. Seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. I will hear from heaven. That's right. Forgive their sin and heal their land. If my people will humble themselves and pray he said return to me and I will return to you you will be my people and I will be your God return to me and I will return to you I'll give you a heart to know me And I will be your God If my people 
will humble themselves and pray. As your people, we have turned and walked away. Yes, we have. From the truth, from the light, from the way. We confess we have failed. We humble our hearts today. Will you hear from heaven? Forgive our sin and heal our land. As your people, we humble ourselves and pray. You said, return to me, and I will return to you. You will be my people. And I will be your God. Return to me. And I will return to you. I'll give you a heart to know me. That's right. And I will be your God. If my people will humble themselves and pray. We cry out to you, we cry out to you, Lord, have mercy on your people. We humble ourselves and pray, we turn from our wicked ways, Lord, have mercy on our nation. Forgive us of our sin. Revive our hearts again. We return to you. We return to you. Yes. We return to you. Oh, yes, we do. We return to you. We return to you. Yes, we do. We return to you. Oh God. You said, Return to me, and I will return to you. You will be my people, and I will be your God. Return to me, and I will return to you I'll give you a heart to know me and I will be your God if my people will humble themselves and pray if my people will humble themselves and pray if my people will humble themselves and pray and pray and pray just lift your voice cry out Lord have mercy on our nation cry out to him oh Lord we cry out to you have mercy we cry out to you we cry out to you Lord have mercy on your people we humble ourselves and pray we turn from our wicked ways Lord have mercy on our nation Forgive us of our sin. Revive our hearts again. We return to you. Yes, we do. We return to you. We return to you. Oh, yes, we do. We return to you. Yes, we return to you. We return to you.
as we do. Forgive us, Lord. On behalf of our nation, we pray tonight. We humble ourselves and pray. Turn from our wicked ways. Come, Lord, heal our land, we pray in Jesus' name. Come and heal your people. Have mercy on our nation. Don't give us what we deserve. And God will make a way Where there seems to be no way He works in ways we cannot see. He will make a way for me. He will be my guide. Hold me closely to His side. With love and strength for each new day. He will make a way. He will make a way. Oh, God will make a way, yes, He will, where there seems to be no way. He works in ways we cannot see. He will make a way for me. He will be my guide. Hold me closely to His side. With love and strength for each new day. He will make a way, He will make a way, by a roadway in the wilderness, He'll lead me, rivers in the desert will I see, heaven and earth will fade. But his word will still remain that's right and he will do something new today oh god will make a way yes he will where there seems to be no way he works in ways we cannot see he will make a way for me he will be my guide Hold me closely to His side With love and strength for each new day He will make a way He will make a way With love and strength With love and strength for each new day He will make a way He will make away yes he will amen do it Lord we pray in Jesus name thank, thank the Lord for the gift of Don Moen thank you so much Don Praise God. Don will be back again tomorrow night, and um, I'm just so glad he's here. I tell you, it's like, it's like my big brother. My, my real big brother went to heaven about two years ago, two and a half years ago, so I kind of pick on these guys who I've met through my life to take that place, and Don has been a consistent friend. There's something to be said for that, isn't there? I feel like if I called him and I was in great trouble, he would come and help me. And that's what a real friend is. Praise God. It's so good to see so many out there. I see my good friend, Pastor Jerry Howe, who pastors out in East DFW in Garland, that wonderful church, Destiny Christian Fellowship. Thank you, Jerry, for coming out tonight. So good to have you here. Jerry and I are best friends for life. We just decided that several years ago. 
And I see Mark and Jill Maynard from Granite City, Illinois, pastors there. Wave to everybody. So nice to have you with us. How many out here are pastors or involved in frontline ministry? Just wave your hand at me. All through here. Oh, bunches of you. Praise God. One of the, one of the arms of this vision that I'll just plant for a second before we bring a gateway up here is that every two years we would do this in the DFW area. I consider Dallas to be the anchor of the nation. It's kind of right in the middle of the country. It's kind of right at the bottom of the country. And I feel like there is a prophetic significance to that. And I think this is going to be a revival center in the last days. I really, really do. But what I believe the Lord showed me when he planted this vision in me a year and a half ago was that every... Every two years, we would have it here in Dallas. And on the off year, the odd years, if you will, I'm, I'm trusting him that he will plant that vision in local pastors of other cities. And we won't have Sing Over America, but we'll have Sing Over St. Louis, Sing Over Atlanta, Sing Over Chicago, Sing Over Los Angeles. Can you see that? So if you're here tonight and the Lord speaks to you through the Holy Spirit's witness, Go back and find 10 or 12 pastors and say, let's do this. And, and we will bring a team in there. I'll, 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 I'll hogtie Don and make him come because the fellowship is so great. And uh, we'll bring a team in and you can also have your own local uh, worship leaders and that kind of thing. Uh, and I think it could be a really powerful thing because what we want to see are these regional principalities and powers destroyed. Look, there's no other name than the name of Jesus. That's the name that every knee shall bow to. There is no other name that competes with that. There never has been. There never will be. But when you don't do what we are commissioned to do and take authority as believers and exalt that name over principalities and powers, by default, the enemy is going to run roughshod over our land, which he has been doing for quite some time. That's why we're in the shape that we're in right now. The church has not taken its place of leadership and authority in the moral conscience of our nation. If we don't do it, it won't be done. By default, we're going to lose because... Satan is the prince of the power of the air. This is his territory for a short time longer. And when Jesus comes, everything is going to change, baby. Can you imagine a government where there are no lies ever? All dishonesty squelched the day of his return. And that kingdom he's going to set up for a thousand years. We're going to have a time. Praise God. Well, so when I got this vision, I realized that although I minister all over the world, I had never really had an open gate in Dallas, Fort Worth. I've been here for 11 years, and the Lord uses me every place but really here, other than a few local churches occasionally. And I just knew the gates of the city were not open to my ministry. So when we got this vision for Sing Over America and felt like it should be held in the DFW area, word kind of went through one of my board members, Doug Kingsrider, to the eldership at Gateway. And the next thing I knew, Thomas Miller was sending a letter to us saying, we think God is in this. We're so believing in this vision that if you would like, we will, we will support it with our own worship team. And when I read that, ladies and gentlemen, it's like the Lord said, I'm opening the gates. Because Gateway is an anchor church in the DFW area. I think now close to 40,000 people go to church there every week. It's a big operation. And for them to reach out to us that had no connection and say, we believe in what you're doing. We want to stand and support you. I, I took that as a total confirmation that this was of the Lord. Amen. So 
We're so glad you guys are here tonight. Thanks for coming out. Praise God. I'll turn it over to them for a little while. Have a good time. around there you can hear me now right <laughs> like I said feel free to stand or sit or move around the presence of the Lord is here amen Lord we thank you for what you're doing in our nation Lord you are here Lord we thank you for your presence We thank you for your grace, Lord. We thank you for your mercy. Oh, we worship you, Jesus. We magnify you. Oh, I magnify feel comfortable just pray in the spirit speak to the Lord bless the Lord with your mouth there is power in confession oh we love you Jesus we glorify your name we glorify your name today we give you honor we give you glory
new life is coming dry bones are rising again dry bones are rising again
serve a dead God. We serve a God who's alive. He is alive, you are alive, and you're strong in us. Oh, you're alive. You're alive. You're here. Oh, you're here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our God reigns. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
sing that chorus again. is perfect and you know it's too I will trust in you
thank you, Lord. Thank you for your presence today. In Jesus' name. Jesus, be glorified. Be glorified. <laughs> Lord, I thank you for these young people that have given their all in worship to you tonight. And I pray, Lord, for this wonderful move of God at Gateway Church, that it would continue to touch a lost and dying world in a way that no one else can do it. Fresh anointing, fresh revelation, fresh sounds from the throne of God. Come, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. We give you all the praise and glory. How about a hand clap for Jesus? Thank you, guys. Precious hearts right there. That's what I sensed. Pre precious hearts given to the Lord. Praise <laughs> Is everybody awake now? If you think it was loud out there, you should have been standing right in front of these suckers. Nobody ever accused me of doing it perfectly, I'll tell you that. But if we can't laugh in church, where can we laugh, right? Don, are you still out there, Don Moen? Did you, is he gone? He might have slipped out. I was just going to say hi to Laura, his wife, because she was with him, and she doesn't travel a lot with him because of duties at home with grandkids and stuff, but I guess they slipped out. Okay, well, we'll say hi to her tomorrow night. All right. Can we go a little longer? Let's try that again. Everybody up. Mr. Video Man, how blessed are those? How blessed are those who dwell in thy house? How blessed are those who dwell in thy house? How blessed are those who dwell in thy house? They are ever praising thee. They are ever praising thee. They are ever praising Thee. They are ever praising Thee, O oh God. They're ever praising Thee. Now you got it, sing it. How blessed are those who dwell in Thy house. How blessed are those who dwell in Thy house. How blessed are those who dwell in Thy house. They are ever praising Thee. They are ever praising Thee. They are ever praising Thee. They are ever praising Thee, O oh God. They're ever praising. Oh, I love that verse. Mm, how blessed are those who dwell in Thy house. Are those who dwell in thy house how blessed are those who dwell in thy house they are ever praising thee they are ever praising thee they are ever praising thee they are ever praising thee, are ever praising thee. oh god they're ever praising thee Who dwell in thy house 
How blessed are those who dwell in thy house. How blessed are those who dwell in thy house, ever praising thee. For we are ever praising thee. We're ever praising thee. We are ever praising thee, O oh God. We're ever praising thee. praising you Lord we're dwelling in your house tonight giving you all the glory over America hallelujah praise the Lord doesn't that feel good doesn't that make your feet get a little happy praise God I like to have fun praise the Lord you can sit down again if you'd like Remember the rules, you don't need permission. How many of you have by chance tuned in to our An Hour with Jesus program on YouTube over the last six or seven months? A bunch of you. All right, what's wrong with the rest of you? You don't like the music. God has been doing a wonderful thing when all of my concerts were basically canceled for 2020. We decided to begin a live service on YouTube every Wednesday night at 7 o'clock central called An Hour with Jesus. Where's Lizzie? Are you out there, Lizzie? Stand up, sweetie. She's the real star of the show. They tolerate me, but they like her. So three weeks into it, my media guy who lives in the Netherlands, he said, are you aware that in the first three weeks, we've had donations or product orders from 55 nations? Is that just, that still gives me goosebumps. And what it showed us was people, not just here in America, but all over the world are desperate for the manifest presence of God. So it's been a wonderful thing to watch. People tune into that program every week with incredible needs. Several have been healed while they've been worshiping. And it's just been a little worship family that's joined together. And uh, we give the Lord all the glory. He, he, he did exceeding abundantly what we could ever ask or think. And we're thrilled because I know that my ministry has always been an international ministry to see God going out among the nations people that are staying up in the middle of the night, two and three o'clock in the morning to worship with us. And then the next morning, of course, their morning, they, they, they tune in because we can replay it many times. So, so it's just been so much fun to watch eight or 10,000 people a week now just tuning in and enjoying the presence of the Lord. Oh, it's just, it's the, it's just the grace of God. Well, anyway, this little song a few weeks ago kind of came out of one of these services. So let me uh, sing it tonight. And it's very simple. It goes like this. There will never be another love for me like your love. There will never be another song I sing like your song. Sweet 
greatest name of all, the one on whom I call my Savior. There will never be another one for me like my Lord. There will never be another one for me like your love. Bring the iPod up, please. There will never be Another song I sing like your song Sweetest name of all One on whom I call my Savior There will never be Another one for me like my Lord Just sing it to him now, there will never be Oh, there will never be Another love for me like your love There will never be another song song You're the sweetest name of all The one on whom I call my Savior Oh, there will never be another one for me like my to play it on the horn. Sweet. 
forgiveness for every sin how can I not love him oh there will never be another one for me like my
Just worship him now. Can you sing a new song tonight? Right where you stand, just worship him with a melody, with a melody of love. I sing my praise to you, Lord, for you are the one that I adore. I proclaim your greatness over our land. I proclaim your holiness over our land. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who is like thee, O Lord? Who is like thee, O Lord? That's it, just go with it. Be a worship initiator. He's here right now. He's been waiting for this evening. It's been circled on heaven's calendar and he knew you would be standing here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Touch your people once again. For thou hast created as all things create, thou hast created all things, and for thy
from the mountaintops. There is no God like Jehovah. There is no Christ like Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Blessing and honor. Blessing and honor and glory and power and riches and wisdom and strength belong to you alone. For you are the great and mighty King. You are the Lion of the tribe of Judah. You are the beginning and the end. You are the Alpha and Omega. You are the breath that I breathe, Lord Jesus. And you are worthy of every ounce of praise from this planet. Let the bowels of America cry out the praise of the living God. Hallelujah. <laughs> Awaken your bride, Lord Jesus. Awaken your bride. Can you hear the sound of heaven? Like the sound of many waters. It's the sound of worship coming from his throne. There are cries of adoration as men from every nation lift their voice to make His glory known. See.
Can you imagine there are 24 elders right now seated around the throne of the Lamb? They have one job, worship. Day and night, they never stop singing, holy, holy, holy. It's not a job. They can't do anything but that. The translation is they hurl their great crowns at the feet of Jesus. They can't even wear those things. That's what I saw when I wrote that song so many years ago. My grandfather, one of the great worshipers of my life, I always see him singing that when I sing it. <laughs> With my dad's hand in his hand, stretched out to the Lamb of God, the only one worthy. People have driven many hundreds of miles, flown in from all across the country 
not for an exercise or an experience with the living Savior. You are worthy to be praised. Lord, during these times, take every one of us to a higher place than we've ever been in you and our worship experience. Dig new wells in our spirit, man. Deeper depths and higher heights. Finding ourselves sitting at the very feet of your throne, Jesus. Hallelujah. Even so, come, Lord Jesus, come. Even so, take your pride away. How my soul longs to be with you. Jesus. If you know Jesus, you know peace. If there's no Jesus, there's no peace.
right before he departed the earth, one final gift, he said, my peace, I leave with you. Wow. Thank you for the peace tonight, Lord. In a tumultuous world that doesn't know where they're going right now, you are our peace that passes all understanding. And we thank you for the peace tonight. If you're here and you've never invited him to be the Lord of your life, it's different knowing about Jesus than it is knowing Jesus. Demons know all about Jesus. Most of them can quote the scripture better than you can. But it's knowing him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings, Paul said. I want to know him so well that he can trust me with anything and everything. If you've never made him that place in your heart, that number one place, all you got to do is just talk from your heart and say, Lord, I believe you died on the cross for my sins. I believe you took my place. And this day, I am making you the Lord and Savior of my life. I am turning from what I have been, and I am walking towards your cross now. Lead me, O oh King. I'm yours. And friend, you will be born again instantaneously. And there will be a party in heaven just for you. Isn't the Lord wonderful, friends? Wow. Father, I just give you all the glory for tonight. Who else could be worthy? Different expressions of praise and worship on this platform. Different expressions of worship in these chairs tonight. Some who have known you for 60 years. Some who may have only known you for 60 days. And we just bring you a sacrifice of praise. I pray, Lord, that the intensity of your anointing will increase over the people tomorrow morning as we worship and pray and worship and pray. And tomorrow evening, we have just a great final celebration together. And thank you, Lord, for not giving up on this thing that you put in my heart, but seeing it through. He who has begun a good work will complete it, and you're completing it, Lord. This launch has happened, and the enemy can never steal it now. It is established in Dallas, Texas, October 29th, over this land that your name is glorified and exalted, and we give you praise. Lord, we take authority over all violence in all cities in the name of Jesus. Where there is hatred, let there be love. Bring your peace to the cities, Lord. Bring your peace to city governments. Let men have the courage to do the right thing. Restore the backbone of this nation. We love you, Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Well, it's nearly 10 o'clock, and a lot of you probably stone tired. How many drove more than five hours to get here? Let me see your hands. Many of you. Wow. Thank you. 
So tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock, we'll gather in here for a, a unique prayer time, worship time. I don't really know how it's going to go, but I'm usually the last to know anyway. But get a good night's sleep. There's no afternoon service, so we'll, we'll, we'll stop around lunchtime, and then you can have the whole afternoon to do whatever you'd like to do. The sun made an appearance this afternoon, which made many of us who have been seeing rain for four days happy. Isn't this a nice room to be in? Don't you feel comfortable in here? Isn't that, the, the Lord saved the best for us. I just wish he wouldn't wait till one minute till midnight to reveal that. Be anxious for nothing, Terry. Oh, yeah, forgot. So, Father, we give you the glory tonight. Give us safe travel to our places of rest and bring us back here tomorrow. And thank you just for being with us tonight, Lord. We have felt your presence in this place. We give you the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Good night. See you tomorrow.